Hey guys, it's Sven. Um, in this video, I will discuss a new way to um, code neural networks in Java. But before I do that, I want to show you something, um, especially like in the old um, project, that I've made a little mistake um, at one place, and I need to correct this. Otherwise, it might um, it might not work sometimes. Um, it's in the uh, network class, I think, and uh, in the train method, um, I've written that. Um, when we are training a train set, we are creating a batch, and um, the batch, the, the creating batch thing, is written in a way um, that, for example, let's say the batch size is greater than the set itself, it's just going to return the set. So let's say our training set has 1,000 um, data values, but the batch size is like 2,000. Then uh, we are trying to extract a batch with like a, a size of 2,000, but this does not work, so it's going to return the set itself. Uh, but in the next step, we are um, iterating from b equals 0 to the batch size, which might be higher than the actual batch. So this needs to be corrected to be um, batch dot, I think it's, yeah, batch dot size. Um, also, um, someone of you has sent me an amazing uh, animation, and um, I quickly have to open it. Um, I think it's this one, and it really looks amazing, and um, I, I really need to show it to you. Because I was really impressed by what he did here, um, I'm I'm going to link his uh, YouTube channel in the description. And um, I, at, at the first, like the first time I was running this code, I was totally confused because um, when you when you look at it, like there's there's nothing happening. Like this is this is everything that happen that happens, but um, it's like a console, so I have to enter things. Um, and we can, for example, check what the commands are that he implemented with um, typing help. So we've got learn, for example, we can learn a network, we can um, uh, load some uh, exi existing training data, and handbright is something really nice. Um, and I think um, somewhere I've already created a network um, in here, so it should be this file. Yeah, it's this file. And um, I think I can load this one. I'm, I'm not quite sure, but I think... Um, Load minus i network one dot txt. Yeah, that's that's how it's done. Um, for some reason, it's not uh, in here, but um, I quickly had to figure this out. So um, now, when I've loaded the network, I can do some things. I can, for example, test the accuracy. But what I want to do, um, I, I want to go um, for this handwrite thing, and this it's really amazing. So if I enter this, it's opening a new uh, frame, and in here I can um, actually draw something, um, and this will be translated into a 28 by 28 image later on. So let's, for example, take um, the number um, 8, so I can draw an 8. Okay, that's not beautiful, I'm going to draw this one again, something like this. Um, but the thing is, uh, usually the MNIST, data, uh, MNIST um, things have been a little bit, um, the, the, the width of the, the font has been um, bigger, so I'm going to make it a little bit, like I'm, I'm increasing the size a little bit, so um, to make sure that it actually recognizes an 8, and I can check this, and it successfully cr um, uh, sees that this is an 8. Um, there's some numbers, like I, I'm pretty sure in the MNIST data set a 7 is written like this, so let's check this. Okay, this it seems to be a one for the network. I'm not quite sure. Like, um, I'm I'm not sure who has written the endless data set, but the um, numbers look quite different from what we would, um, from how would we how we would, um, um, write those numbers. But um, it's it's a really oh no not like this. It's a really amazing code, and I'm actually quite impressed. So let's try it to maybe something like this does it work. Yeah. So this is a two for the network, and yeah, this this works um, pretty fine. Um, I'm I'm actually impressed what by what he did, and um, yeah, I just wanted to show you this. And um, myself, I've um, written another code which is also pretty um, nice to look at, I think. And I'm also going to show you to this quickly. So um, this was in this project, I think. So let's go into the. Um, I've I've made some examples. Um, but I'm only going to sh show you this one. So um, 
it's it's not as as big as as big as a project um like what he did but it's um very nice for visualizing things or visualizing how neural networks work and um change over time so in the top i can enter network size and the input size needs to be two and the output size needs to be one because in here i have a coordinate system i have the x and y values of each um, pixel and i can set like um either red or blue um points like this would be a red point and a blue point and i can set them anywhere i want um i can even um like place a lot of random points at once if i press the middle mouse button um and I, i'm going to do the, this again so like this and i'm going to choose a network that might be a little bit bigger like 2 15 15 and 1 and if i run this the goal is to um I'm training like the x and y values, and the expected output is the color of my of of the point of the pixel um, of the pixel at that point. So, for example, at um, let's say maybe x is um, I don't know 0 0.4 maybe, and the y is from the top like say maybe 0 0.6, it should be blue. And um, it's really nice how to see how the ne neural networks fit the space in between. So at the beginning, like the error is really high. Um, it's um, it's it's like not that accurate. They're like points, like blue points in red spaces. But um, it's get it gets uh, really exact over time. And this is just like um, I think really nice to to look at. Um, and this was actually quite fun to code. But uh, yeah, like um, at at some point this should get really exact. But like it could happen in this case. Um, I can run this again with um, uh, like as many points as I had. But um, have the um, the network size way smaller so um i'm going to stick with this and the thing is this is going to train much faster but that there, there are just too many points for the network to learn like um it's not going to work because like the the network cannot be as accurate as it want to be um the the more layers and the more neons we have the more complex structures a network can uh, recognize and um for example, these are too many points for the network to recognize, and you can see in the bottom left that it just doesn't know what to do in here, and it doesn't change it at all. Um, not like we, like in in the um, last t last time when I had like more neons, it um, knew uh, what to do here everywhere. Like it, it knew um, it, it it found found a function to match all these points, but it can't with so many uh, with so little neons. Um, okay. Um, there's also another thing that I want to show to you. This is actually quite important because um, this is a huge problem that uh, might happen, um, and it, like it, it could happen to you. It must not necessarily happen, but it's a problem that is it's like a actually big problem. And I'm going to use like maybe six layers of hidden. Actually, this one is like um, it's like yeah, six six layers like this. And I'm also going to place some po um, points again. And I can place even more points. That doesn't really matter at this point. It should be really exact in theory. But if I run this, um, absolutely nothing would change. Like it will be the same color everywhere. Um, and that's a problem that's called gradient vanishing. So uh, when we're having too many neons in a layer, it might happen that um, the gradients, like it's it's some mathematical stuff that uh, we can't really change what's happening at the end. That's just because we have the sigmoid function, that's a specific problem with the sigmoid function, the activation function that we had. And therefore, I'm going to create a new network um, network library that um, can have multiple activation functions, multiple loss functions. And um, I, haven't, I haven't tested it yet. I, I've written the code, but um, theoretically it should deal with this problem. And I'm going to start with that in the next video. So. Um, I hope to see you in the next video.